Hi guys, Mimi G here. So today I'm going to be talking to you about something called compression mesh. So I did this thing for um, All Deaf Digital a couple months back and in that video, in that interview, I mentioned that I sort of sometimes build in um, a support into my dresses, especially like my fitted dresses and my skirts so that I don't have to wear Spanx. And so um, I just named it Compression Mesh because that's what came to my head. And then, um, you know, my social media blew up with everyone asking me about this Compression Mesh and how do I do it and, where, you know, how I put it in and all these questions. And so I've been promising for a while that I was going to do a video talking about what it is. So I want to let everybody know exactly what the Compression Mesh is and how I use it. So really all that it is is uh, Power Mesh. So you can buy this at your local fabric store if they carry it or online and it's usually used to line swimsuits. So it's sort of a, a mesh fabric like this and it's pretty tight so it stretches but it has, um, it keeps its form really nicely. So what I do is whenever something calls for a lining, um, I just replace my lining if it's a fitted dress or skirt with my power mesh and so for example I just made um, an evening gown for a wedding that uh, me and Norris attended and for that dress it called for a lining and so instead of cutting my lining out of like you know a similar weight knit fabric because I was using a knit fabric for the dress I thought oh well I'll just make my lining using power mesh so that way I don't have to wear Spanx under this dress so a lot of times when I wear pencil skirts or I wear fitted dresses, I always get the same question. I never see any panty lines. I never see any um, lines under your dresses. What do you do? So that's what I do. I line my fitted stuff with power mesh. And it usually comes um, in multiple colors. So it comes in black. Um, I have it in white. And it also comes in nude, but I'm out of the nude. So, um, But it does come in a nude fabric. And you know it's super stretchy but it keeps its shape so nicely so that when I make my dresses or my skirts, um, what I do is I cut my power mesh about a half inch smaller than the pattern. So that way it sort of snaps onto my body and I can most of the time get away with having to wear Spanx at all. So that's always a plus for me because I find them sort of uncomfortable um, and the power mesh is light, but it sort of um, does the job, right? It keeps it all tight. So I'm going to do um, show you really quickly how to put it in, for example, a pencil skirt. I'm using my basic 30 minute pencil skirt to show you guys how to put in the power mesh as a lining for that skirt. So I'm not actually going to show you how to make the skirt because I, like I said, already have a video. So click that video, watch how to make that 30 minute pencil skirt out of a knit fabric, make that skirt, and then you'll know exactly what I'm doing now. So I've made my skirt already except for the waist, right? I've just sewn the single seam in the back and I've already cut um, my power mesh, but I cut it a half inch smaller. So for example, um, in my measurements, for my hips, it's a 42. So I cut a 41 and a half in the power mesh so that it's smaller, so that when I put it inside of my skirt or my dress, it sort of snaps on. And I do that with everything. So if I was cutting a dress, I would cut the lining a quarter inch to a half inch smaller than the actual pattern so that it snaps onto my body. So again, if you haven't already seen that 30 minute pencil skirt video, click that link so that you guys can watch it and then you know exactly what I'm doing here. So this is a closer view of what I said, um, like I said, the power mesh. And if you did a search on Google for power mesh or even um, I think maybe lowpricefabric.com might have some, fabric.com might have some. They also come in different weights. So this one is a lighter weight one. Um, the white one that I have is a little thicker. And so the thicker one does an even better job, but it just depends on the weight of your fabric, right? If you're using a lightweight fabric, um, then I would use the stronger, heavier power, power mesh. If I was using a heavier knit, like a Ponte, um, I could get away with using the lighter weight uh, power mesh. So it really just depends on what fabric you're using. The white one is really nice, but as you can see, it's a little thicker, a little heavier, and not as see-through or sheer as the black one. Um, if you're doing something like a white dress, 
I would not suggest using the white power mesh because you can see it. Um, sort of like when you wear white pants and you wear white underwear, that's a no-no. Um, you should always wear nude underwear when you're wearing white pants. So the same goes for your lining. I would be using the nude one if I was making um, a white or even uh, a clear cream colored uh, dress. Okay, so like I said, if you have not yet watched that 30 minute pencil skirt video, I suggest you watch it, watch it now so that you guys know exactly what this is. So this is my pencil skirt. There's only one seam down the back. It's the center back seam. It's a super easy beginner project. Um, and so what I did is I cut my skirt out and I sewed my center back seam. That's as far as I've gotten. I did not finish the hem and I did not finish the waistband. So for the power mesh, I cut the same exact thing, right? Except that I cut it a half inch smaller. So whatever measurements I used for my waist and hip for the skirt, I minus a half inch and then I cut my power mesh. So it's slightly smaller than my skirt. The other thing that I did was I cut it shorter, right? Because you don't want to cut the mesh the same length as your skirt because you don't want your power mesh to be showing at any point while you wear it. So I've cut mine 5 eighths of an inch shorter than the length of my skirt. Okay, so I'm going to show you um, how I slip my power mesh onto my skirt and create a casing. So. Um, I have my skirt turned right side out, I have my power mesh wrong side out, and I have a piece of elastic. So you're going to need a one inch wide knit elastic, and I've cut mine to be a one inch smaller than my waist measurement. So my waist is 28 inches, I've cut my, tape, my elastic 27 inches. So I'm going to set that aside for just a second. So what you're going to do is you're going to slip your skirt inside of your power mesh, okay? So you're literally just going to put it inside. And you're going to find your seam lines, okay? And you're going to match those up and you're going to pin. And continue pinning your power mesh to your skirt along the waistline. And now what you're going to do is you're going to go to your sewing machine and using a zigzag stitch, you're going to stitch these together at the very top. If you have a serger, you can just serge this together. But if not, a zigzag stitch, very narrow zigzag stitch, will uh, be just fine. And you're going to stitch a quarter inch from the top edge all the way around. Okay, so as you can see, I have finished my zigzag stitch all the way around, joining my skirt to my power mesh. And now I'm going to turn my power mesh to the inside. I'm going to pull my skirt and I'm going to put my lining, my power mesh to the inside. And I want you to go to your ironing table and I want you to press this nice and flat. Okay, I've given it a good press and my lining is to the inside. We have a clean finish at the top, but now we need to create a casing for our elastic. And so what you're going to do is you're going to measure down from the edge an inch and one eighth and you're going to make a mark. So I'm going to measure down one and one eighth of an inch, creating this line here. You're going to do the same thing in the back. Remember the back has the seam. Okay, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to pin this together so that my power mesh doesn't shift. So I'm literally just going to pin through both layers in different places because like I said, I don't want my power mesh to move. Now you can see you have your marked line. So 
So what you're going to do is go back to your sewing machine, okay? And you're going to start an inch away from where your center back seam is. So you're going to start about an inch away from that. You're going to stitch all the way around creating that casing. You're going to get to your seam line and you're going to backstitch and stop. We're leaving a one inch opening because we need to insert our elastic. So go ahead and go to your sewing machine. You're going to stitch all the way around following your line, but you're going to stop short leaving a one inch opening. Okay, so as you can see, I have done my stitching all the way around and I have left a one inch opening. Okay, so go ahead and grab your safety pin and you're gonna put it through one end of your elastic. And we're gonna go, like I said, in between your skirt fabric and your power mesh. And you will find that you have an opening that you've left. That opening is where you're going to put your elastic. You're going to sift it through. Now the elastic is not meant to gather because we don't have a whole lot of fabric to gather at the waist. It's just there for support. Okay, you want to make sure that you don't let the other tail end go all the way in, right? So keep an eye on that. Then when you get back to that opening, you can go ahead and pull your elastic out. You want to make sure that they're both flat and that your elastic has not twisted. So what I do is I pin these together and then I grab a little bit of my skirt so I could pin it in place and then I adjust. And you can try this on now and see how it fits. If you need more or less pull or elastic, that's up to you. You're going to also make sure that it's not twisted. You don't want elastic twisted on the inside. You want it to be laying nice and flat. And when you have it nice and flat, you can go ahead and go back to the inside. I'm going to grab my elastic. I'm going to unpin it from my skirt. Hold on to your elastic ends. And we're going to sew these two together. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to your machine and you're going to stitch three eighths of an inch away from the edge. You're going to stitch both your elastic pieces together using a zigzag stitch. Okay, so I have gone and made um, a few rows of stitching, just back stitch, go over it again, maybe three or four times using a zigzag stitch just to secure the two ends of your elastic together. Now you can let it all go. Turn this right back to the inside and just pull on your elastic waistband or on your waistband so that you can evenly distribute the elastic. And now you have a very clean finish, right? Cause your elastic is encased in between your power mesh and your skirt. And now all you have to do is go back to your sewing machine, put your needle in where you stop stitching and just close that opening up. Now you can go ahead and finish the hem of your skirt the same way that we did in the 30 minute pencil skirt video. I just turned under my hem and then I stitched using my zigzag, narrow zigzag stitch because you want that hem to stretch, right? You don't want to use a straight stitch uh, because if you then pull it on, your stitches are going to pop. Um, so make sure that you use your zigzag settings and you finish your hem the same way that we do in that 30 minute pencil skirt video. I do not finish the hem of my power mesh. I leave it like this because if I fold it and I, and I add stitching to it, it's going to make it thicker and I don't want that. I want you to not be able to see this line underneath my skirt so I leave it raw. So now you have a finished, super easy pencil skirt that you can wear without having to put on Spanx and when you turn it wrong side out, 
you'll see it's nicely finished you have your power mesh and your elastic is encased between both of these giving you a really nice finish both on the inside and on the outside give your skirt one final press and you are all done Well, that's all there is to it. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. And remember that the next time your fitted dress or skirt pattern calls for a lining, you might want to consider using power mesh instead. Until next time, peace.